Here is another word problem in which we have geometric shape and this time it is isosceles triangle. The question is, an isosceles triangle has two equal sides. The third side is 4 cm shorter than double of the length of one of the equal sides. The perimeter of the triangle is 84 cm. Find the dimensions of the triangle. Let's try to sketch one triangle like this and then we'll figure out how to do it. So let's say this is our triangle. And isosceles means that the two sides are same. That is to say that this and this sides are same and let us say the side lengths are x and x and the third side let it be y. So these are our def var variables that is how we are defining our variables. So we say let the sides be as shown in the figure right so that should be sufficient. Now so we'll write down let the sides so we'll say side length be as shown in the figure. So when you write like this, it means these two sides are equal, both are x, and the third one is y. Now let's read the question and write down our equation. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. Yes, they are. The third side is 4 cm shorter than double of the length of one of the two equal sides. So 4 cm shorter than twice x. So y is equals to twice x minus 4. That's what it means. And next statement is the perimeter of the triangle is 84. That means x plus x plus y is 84. So we get the second equation as x plus x plus y equals to 84. So we got two equations and two variables. So we can easily solve. So second equation can be reduced and written as 2x plus y equals to 84. Now we have two equations. Let's number them. So this is our equation 1 and this is equation 2. How should we solve it? Since we know y in terms of x, substitution is a good method. So let us substitute value of y here, which is 2x minus 4. So we'll write this as 2x plus y, we'll write as 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4 equals to 84. So what we really did was, we here at this stage, we substituted value of y from equation 1 in equation 2. Do you see that? So this is the value which we substituted here. 2x minus 4. Now we have an equation in single variable which can be solved very easily, right? So let's try to solve it on this side. We'll combine the terms. We get 4x minus 4 equals to 84. 4x equals to 84 plus 4, right? We'll take constants on the right side, variables on the left, which is 88. So 4x is 88. x is how much? 88 divided by 4 and that gives you 22. So we have a value for x which is 22. Now since we know x we can always find y. So we'll equation, equation 1 is helpful. So we'll write y equals to 2 times x which is 2 times 22 minus 4 that is 44 minus 4. That gives us a value of 40. So we got both the, the uh, variables and now we can write down our answer. So our answer is, it says find the dimensions of the triangle. The dimensions are side lengths, right? So side lengths are x value is how much? 22. So we said 22 and the unit is centimeter since perimeter is given is centimeter. So 22 centimeter, 22 centimeter and 40 centimeter. So that is the final answer for this question. If you add them up, 
Do you get 84? That is a check. So if you get, then it's quite okay. You should also check with the second equation. y equals to 2x minus 4. Right? So that is how we can do these kinds of problems. So the strategy here is sketch, make a sketch, define your variables, and then write down your equations after reading the problem carefully. And then adopt substitution or elimination method to find one variable. After that, substitute the value of that variable and get the other variable. So that is how you solve these questions. Remember to write down your answers clearly with units. I hope you get it. Thank you.